Yeah, why don't we check for a winner? Um, there's, there's um like if you want to look down here, there's totally better ways to check for winners. Uh, but I'm just gonna do the most simple way to check for a winner, which is to compare each element in the row with each other. And uh, <laughs> instead of um, basically the problem with this is not scalable. You can't move up into like four by four or six by six or seven by sevens. You can only do three by three. If you want to do more of that, you would have to change the code. And typically in programming, you don't want to do that because um, you want to have stuff code that's like robust and doesn't require your effort to fix in the future, right? You want to have it so that it's future proof. But for now, it doesn't really matter. So, all right, let's make a new function def um, check win. All right, terrific. So we'll probably just check for horizontals today. And then unless you guys want to continue, we'll do check for verticals and diagonals another day. But check for horizontals is pretty simple. So just like before where we loop through each list in this massive 2D list, we'll do the same because we want to be comparing the lists with each other. So for, um, yeah, for, row in board if and you can do zero this is just the equals equals remember equals equals is how you compare two things if you want them to be equal uh, row zero row one equals equals row two you can, um, yeah. What did I have it returned? Okay, I have it return a winner. Um, uh, and you can just return the first element in the list. So, for instance, if X wins here. Say X wins here. Uh, you want what you would want to do is say that X wins, right? Not like O wins. Um, and you can also print like winner, def winner, return true. So there's a winner, but that's not as useful as printing um, or returning like who won specifically, right? In this case, X is X has won. So why don't we check if this works? There you go, X, right? Because in this case, X has actually won. And no matter, and the printing just like the first element in the list um, returns the X as a winner. So yeah, that's quite simple. However, the problem arises <laughs> when you don't have anything inside. Now, if you run this, it's still gonna say there's a winner. Um, you can't see it, but it's printing say like a, it's printing a space out right here because it's printing these are all equal to each other and it thinks there's a winner still so you need to have an and condition that checks if row the row is completely filled or not so you want it to be not equal to a space right so what's happening here is it's checking if someone has won. So if these all match up and that row is not equal to a space. In this case, even, although this condition is satisfied, right? These are all equal. So it's true. But um, any these elements are all spaces. Row zero, that's a space, right? It's not equal. I mean, yeah, it is equal to space. So this condition is false and it's not going to it's not going to say anything happened. It's not going to say, um, it's not going to return anything, which is what we want. So now we have something that checks if there's a winner, basically.
And by the way, um, if you run a function and it's supposed to return something, but it doesn't return anything because this condition is never satisfied, so it never gets it to the return, it's going to just spit out a none, uh, which is correct in this case because there is no winner. So when we check for a winner, there's no one because these aren't equal to each other. And these ones don't have any input in them. But if you want to do, if you want to check, if, there you go. So obviously there's a winner down here and you have check winner, x is the winner. All right, that's an hour. So we can end it here. We got the check for horizons and if you want to practice good coding, um, you just comment out your code, comment your code. So check horizontals. All right, cool. I think we can stop there. We printed out our board, we have a board variable and we check for horizontals and we did a bunch of other stuff to